As soon as the embassy opened its doors Monday, visitors started streaming in to be with the Saudi ambassador and his colleagues and express their condolences. Adel al Jubair, the kingdom's well-respected ambassador here, says Prince Nayef made a big contribution to his country. Mr. Ambassador, what was your reaction to the news of the death of uh, Prince Nayef? Uh, very deep sorrow and, and shock. Uh, His Royal Highness Prince Naif bin Abdelaziz is one of the pillars of the Saudi state. He has uh, played in a very important role over many decades in the development of Saudi Arabia. And uh, in most recently, he has been instrumental in, uh, in enhancing the security services of the kingdom and in protecting the Saudi people from the evils of terrorism. His uh, legacy also includes improving services for citizens, whether that involves the many different departments associated with the Ministry of Interior. Uh, he has also had philanthropic uh, efforts um, and uh, he has been also keen on uh, helping th those less fortunate in the kingdom as well as outside of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He will be missed. He, has, he was one of the pillars of the Saudi state. And I believe that uh, not only do the Saudi people mourn his loss, but the Arab and Muslim people also. The United States is one of the kingdom's most important allies. William Burns, the number two at the U.S. Department of State, says Prince Nayef did much to strengthen the ties between the two countries. Well, we reacted with uh, deep regret. We've had enormous respect and admiration over the years for the many contributions that uh, Crown Prince Nayef made to the security and stability of Saudi Arabia, to the region, uh, as well as to the relationship between our two countries. Um, he set a very powerful example of uh, security, of fighting terrorism and violent extremism, um, and certainly is a vivid reminder of what we have to gain by working together. But at this sad moment, uh, we convey our condolences um, to His Majesty King Abdullah, to the royal family, and to the people of Saudi Arabia. Mourners came from a large number of countries, especially the many Muslim nations with friendly relations with the kingdom. I'd like to express my heartfelt condolences and sincere um, uh, expressions of, of sympathy for the uh, uh, family uh, of the great uh, uh, prince and also for the uh, government and people of uh, Saudi Arabia, friendly and uh, brotherly people. It is indeed a great loss and uh, we sympathize uh, with our brotherly uh, people of Saudi Arabia for this, uh, for this loss. What a great loss, um, not only for Saudi, but for Yemen, where, uh, you know, two countries, we share a lot, of, a lot in common. Um, Prince uh, Naif was uh, uh, an icon, and his uh, uh, influence was uh, greatly uh, 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 felt in, in, in not only in Yemen and, and, and Saudi, but in the Arab world. It's a, it's a loss. It's a loss for all of us. For three days, Saudi Arabia's large embassy here has been turned into a place of mourning, with diplomats from numerous countries and various American officials coming here to pay their respects and sign a book of condolences. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.